Is it possible to start fire with ice? See, it zooms in. So, that's what we want. It works just like lens. Let's see if it gets even hot. Hugo, stop it. You're not helping. Stop it, Hugo. No. Oh yeah, it gets really hot. Let's try this out. So I'm gonna set it like this. Whoa, look at that. It's already starting to smoke. And look at that, we started the fire with the ice. Today I'm going to show you how to start the fire with the car battery. Okay, first we're gonna plug in the wires. Red is plus, and then the black one over here. Now we got here two wires over here. And here I got steel wool. I'll hook it up over here, and then I'm gonna touch it with this one. Then I'm gonna unhook it, blow it, blow it a little bit, and then I'm gonna grab coconut husk, whatever you have. I'm just gonna hook it up together and blow it some more. It went out. Let's try this again. Here you go. Woo! Do you see how easy it was? Coconut husk is burning now. Awesome. So as you can see, this is how easy it is to start a fire with car battery. So what we're going to do is grab light bulb and get a rock. And we need to break down this end right here without breaking the light bulb. Crumbles up pretty easily. And there you go. It just falls off. And we will need a light bulb, not broken one. It kind of cracked over here, but that's okay. I think it will do. Next thing, what we're going to do is just get water. Any kind of water. You can even get it out of the lake, out of the river, whatever. And fill it up. It just have to be clear water. Not the murky kind. Boom. Just fill it up all the way with the light bulb. And next thing, what we're going to do is just wait till sun comes out. It's a really hot day but a little bit cloudy. But I think we can still make fire with a light bulb anyway, because the light bulb is so big and circular like that. I think it'll be really easy to start the fire with. Look at that magnifying glass. Because it's cloudy, the sun is kind of weak, so I'm going to use char cloth and the bunch of grass, and I'm just gonna uh, point the light bulb right on the sun like this, and put the char cloth and the dried grass or coconut ho coconut husk right under it. You can put your arm and just to feel it. If you get a little pinch, yep, I can feel a little pinch. That's why I need to hold my char cloth and that's how we're gonna be able to start the fire. Oh yeah, I see the smoke. Smoke is going. You see how I'm doing it? Look how much smoke there is now. I'll lay the light bulb and then I'm gonna put this inside of the some kind of dried leaves and blow it. And boom, we got the fire. Woo! It's hot! This time we're going to use water bottle, we're gonna hold it upside down right here and then we're gonna tilt it this way to where we can feel a little pinch. Ooh, that's actually very big pinch, almost instantly. I'd say better than a light bulb. Wow, let's start to use it. Chalk cloth right here. Hold it like that, let's see what happens. Can you guys even see? Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. It's smoking. Nice. 
Wow. Uh, put down the water bottle and then we're going to close it together. You see how much it's smoking? Once again, we got to blow on it. And boom, we got fire. Woo! Awesome! Also, you can start the fire with the reading glasses. Just zoom in like that. You see that little dot right here? And starting to smoke. But most of the glasses are just not powerful enough. So if you have um, less magnifying glasses, you'll have a hard time starting that fire. But as you can see, oh, sun went away, but it's okay. I think we got it going. You see it's smoking pretty good. Now I can close it and blow it. And we got the fire going. Awesome. And today I'm going to start the fire with the Coca-Cola can. Let's check this out. So guys, what are we going to do? We need a Coca-Cola can, empty one. Actually, you can have any kind of can. So hopefully you have toothpaste in your survival kit because it's actually very useful. Not just keep your teeth clean. Then what you need, a little rug or a t-shirt. I'm just going to use t-shirt. And what I'm going to do is just polish it. Let me show you close up. I'll just use t-shirt since I don't have a rug. Hi Hugo, what you doing? You like the smell of toothpaste? You wanna brush your teeth? He wants to he wants to help me polish it with <laughs> or you wanna lick it or something? You see how so far it's getting really really shiny. Just gonna keep polishing it. You can use a piece of chocolate if you don't have a toothpaste, it's no big deal. Look how well it's polished now, almost reflective. And we will need full sun. When I was editing, I realized that, that I didn't show you how to polish it enough. You actually have to polish it for a very long time. You put toothpaste on and then you see how this toothpaste turned really, really dark. It takes about 30 minutes to polish it. As you can see, we're wiping off all the toothpaste and it's still not shiny enough. It's shiny, but it needs to be shinier. We're just going to repeat the process till it gets really, really shiny. Just a little bit of toothpaste again and wipe it off again. Now look how shiny that is. That's what we want. Look at that. It's like parabolic mirror. Look at that white cloth. This is all that stuff came off from the can. And I have right here the char cloth. Very easy to start the fire with char cloth and coconut husk. Let me show you close up what I'm trying to achieve. You see how it's a flex on my hand and I tried to make it all light concentrate in one dot that's what i'm trying to achieve and then we're going to get chalk cloth and just hold it right above it okay after you hold it for a while you see it's getting hot right now Ooh, yeah just gonna put it in some kind of kindling like dry leaves or something look at it it's starting to smoke coconut husk is the easier to light it up so I love coconut husk. And then I'm gonna cover it up and blow on it. Ooh, we got smoke. And it's on fire. Yeah, we got fire with Coca-Cola can. Today I'm going to be using this lid to start a fire in a survival situation. Let's check this out. First of all, I need to figure it out if it's going to be hot enough. I got this lid and I'm gonna pour water right on top of it. Okay, let's see. And we have to really lift it up. So I think it has to be almost very up high because it's a big lid. It needs to be at least a couple feet off the ground like that. Because right there, I don't know if you can see. So what I'm doing is making a magnifying glass with the lid. You see, I'm concentrating the sun in one spot down there. You see, if I bring it closer to the dirt, 
it gets bigger if I'm gonna pull it up look how small that light over there such so a just like a giant magnifying glass so what I'm gonna do is grab a bunch of coconut husk or some kind of dry leaves and set it down somewhere right here magnifying glass let's see if it's going to start can you see I'm gonna concentrate it right on that uh, what do you call that coconut husk let me see if it even gets warm oh yeah it feels pretty hot the only problem I feel like I, I keep moving my hands so maybe that's why it's not starting I need to be very steady so what I'm gonna do find a bunch of broken sticks and make a stand for it yeah looks good go measure it to the lid doesn't need to be too deep because it's just a lid it doesn't weigh that much that's sharp enough just like that to hold up like that need to drive it in somewhere right here the lid just sitting on three sticks okay that looks pretty level to me now then we're going to add water all the way look at that it even looks like magnifying glass now what we got here boom oh yeah that feels pretty hot okay it's starting to burn now maybe like 10 seconds and starting to burn really hard that's what we want and you want as clear sky as possible okay before we lose the sun let me let's see if this is going to start up burning we got here a bunch of grass let's see oh yeah it's pretty hot I'm just gonna let it sit there for a while all right let's see and look at it we started the fire wow today's video we're gonna do a quick test with the most powerful flashlight this is a 32,000 lumen flashlight and it's a LED flashlight what I want to see can we start a fire just by using the world most powerful LED flashlight you know LEDs don't heat up as much but this is a very very powerful flashlight I'm wondering if it's possible to start a fire with it so what we're going to do is put it on highest and try to start a fire with this whoa smokes instantly there's no way it's charring but will it start the fire It almost wanna start the fire, but it's not. Whew, look at that. You know what we should do? Is fold it many times, so that way there is layers, so there's something to catch on fire. So I think this will work a lot easier. Okay, the highest, do not look at the light. If you're using this flashlight in real life, it will hurt your eyes to the camera it's not a big deal it's like yeah wow that was fast and it's just a LED flashlight crazy look at that and we started a fire okay we need a flashlight first of all we're going to open the top right here and we're going to need this reflector flashlight reflector we got here chalk cloth we're going to stick it right under here and then just hold it like this ah this is so hot ouch I didn't even realize it's already burning you see this white piece right here it's burning enough now I'm gonna wrap it around here I'm just going to stick it into this candle in. Now all I have to do is just blow on it. And there you go, we start fire.